What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Solo Leveling Arise video. Alright guys, you guys have been asking me for this for quite some time. We have the actual event going on right now where artifacts can be switched out for free and this is the time to get you guys this tier list. So I've been waiting for this and I'm sorry you guys took so long but I've always got crazy things to do. So let's do this quickly and I'll get you guys the ball rolling. We're going to talk about the Hunters, the best um, setup for them. A decent setup for them if you don't have the best of course and then the situational ones and i'll explain where the situation is best for so let's start off with our boy jinu here uh so first off main thing for him to note he's got the most options in the game to use because of course he's so versatile but the best setup is going to be either eight piece curse the best 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 setup is going to be four piece curse and four piece expert and then of course warmonger is a phenomenal one to work with as well too so these three here are going to be the best sets for him if you are looking for some extra backup sets you can of course give him a little bit more love with some support if you need to but these are going to be hands down the best sets in the game for him right now that you can use all right now in terms of decent sets if you don't have those you can go with armed you can go with toughness you can go with uh, one hit kill uh, one hit kill also works really well with um, four piece four piece curse um or sorry two piece curse and, and two piece one hit kill but ideally you want to go four and four now with expert that's still going to be the best one for him uh guardian is situational because you can use it in the um the guild boss uh blessing is situational you can use it in the guild boss these are and destroyer is also situational you can use it in the guild boss if you really require it uh the other ones here are pretty mediocre for him but other ones that are decent champion on the field for him uh berserker and executor are not bad options as well too if you need it um the most situational one here i'd probably say is going to be uh concentration of firepower where if you're looking at fast burst damage this is a good one to use as well too but that pretty much is going to be it for him so these are the best sets you can possibly use currently in the game decent sets here and then we have the situational sets right there okay so i want to show you guys that real quick we're going to take uh jinu out here we're going to go with alicia now with alicia it's pretty straightforward uh this kind of still applies this won't change the only difference here is you're going to put the foundation solid foundation set at level 75 if you guys can get well sorry at level 70 75 yeah 75 if you guys can get that set up there you're looking at the best setup for sure for her there as well too uh champion of the field is actually a, fr a fairly decent one for her as well too if you are looking for maximum damage uh but expert still takes the cake so it's either a piece four and four four and four four and four or four and four okay so you guys can do whichever way you want this all applies the same way for her uh and then and of course this is also the problem with the concentration of firepower i find is i run an amount of really really fast so mp is kind of gone the entire time so i would i would take this away actually this she doesn't need this whatsoever uh it's not going to be useful for her i mean you can use it but it's not really that good same with blessings i wouldn't be putting blessings for her either so we're going to remove that uh and then the story set i also would actually remove so realistically i'd say probably more like this let's take this out as well there we go okay so you're going to kind of look like that right there for her setup and that's pretty much going to be the ebb and flow for a lot of the dps right so cha same scenario here the only one you'll take out is this one actually and you'll actually put one hit kill above if you have her at a5 her one hit kills great this is actually a really good option for her as well too so if you're looking at the best options you're probably looking at these there again situational stuff right there everything else really doesn't make any sense so there is cha's um in terms of mire same thing here i would actually take away the one hit kill option and make it decent uh the rest of this stuff looks phenomenal remember she does scale really well off of crit damage and crit because her weapon provides crit and crit damage so the toughness set is actually really good but still nothing beats these these two combinations i think the rest here looks fairly decent you can if you want to this is your choice because she's so squishy this is actually a decent option for her as well too uh this is actually a good a decent option for her as well um and if you are running the mp build it's situational i have yet to come about where i needed this to be honest nothing really beats this setup here but it could be an option for you right all right let's go to yu so yun uh same thing again everything applies the same way here this toughness set is okay this is actually a better set for her right there because of the defense penetration that she gets from the four piece set uh the warmonger still works really well as does the uh, the, the the curse set everything else here looks fairly okay i think really at the end of the day she's gonna take that out you could give her sylph by the way because she does have the the flame or the fire defense down from opponents fire resist down so giving fire she does kind of work as a support unit as well so again situational there for her um and these two this is actually also this, i mean you know what we can probably leave this on it's decent but it's not the best but again same thing applies there uh now the only difference really is this unit here i'm gonna i'm gonna do him last let's do him last actually 
put him on the list there. So SM Beck, same scenario. SM Beck actually does work really well with basic attacks. That's actually his best thing. So you may want to build him there. This is actually a good option for him too. Uh, as a matter of fact, he's actually good with the one hit kill as well too. So he's got a lot of different options, but I would say kind of goes like this in this pattern. I would even put this one here. So it goes like this for him. Uh, really, 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 really strong set for him is this, uh, the, uh, the Berserker set. And then from there, everything else here looks fairly good. He can't technically use this because now he gets a shield to get more damage out of it. So I'll put this as decent. Um, the rest is fairly set up the proper way. Ignore this guy here. All right, so there's your SM Beck. Let's go to let's go to Dung Poo. Uh, Dung Poo curse uh, useless here. So this is actually going to be completely gone for him because he's defense spec. So good, good, good. Um, decent. We're gonna put decent here. Decent here and. Uh, probably probably decent here um for this i would probably go with that there and then trying to think if there's anything else that work works anything better than this. this is actually gone for him completely i would say this maybe yeah i would probably go with these this probably more decent for him and i, would, I don't know if i would remove this actually to be honest yeah there you guys go so you guys can build them warmonger is going to be the best set for him for sure like it'll be these 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 two sets here, right? So um, eight piece curse, uh, four piece there uh, with with the either one of these two here, and then or four piece there and then two these two there. So Dong is a little bit of a, of a nuisance, of course. And then Choi. Now Choi, we already removed um, expert from there because he doesn't do crits, so that takes away from that. Champion of the field is gone, doesn't do crits. Situationally, you can use this technically if you want to. Uh, you can also situationally use this as well if you want to build him as a support unit for like guild bosses. Um, outside of that though, toughness is useless for him. He doesn't have any crit, so that's pointless. This is much better for him. I would put this as decent. This is definitely good for him. So those are the sets right there that he'd be best at. If you really want to run this, you can for more uh, output for alts. But again, not a necessity. So this is probably going to be the best sets going for him going forward. Yeah, this looks pretty pretty right for him. Okay, good. Uh, and then uh, Song Yi, we're going to put the SRs in there as well too. So you guys can keep these as is. The only difference is you're going to throw this back in. You're going to put these back down here. Um, and then you can keep this situational as it is. And then you can put this back here as well too. So this is probably the best setup for her. I'll put this here as well too actually. And this goes back down to decent. So this is her best setups right there. Okay, eight piece, four and four, four and four, uh, four and four, etc. Right, pretty much, pretty ebb and flow there. Um, this park here, actually, no, I'll do this park last because again, he scales off of defense. Uh, Kang, same scenario, ex literally exactly the same scenario. Uh, this is actually a good option for him, the one hit kill, because you want to do his alt as much as you can to keep the damage increase up. So this is actually a very, very good option for him. But still, you guys can run it the same way. Um, and then Sung, same scenario. Okay, same scenario here, just. Just the same builds, same setups. Um, situational here as well, too, if you want to run that with him. And then Joe's, same scenario here, okay? So pretty much the DPS are all going to run very similarly. Uh, lastly, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do Park as well. Actually, she's, technically, she's the DPS. Difference of Park is you can probably do Destroyer set more often with her and then take away, like, the Toughness set. Not really required, but I could, I could run this a lot better with her. And I would even put this up here, probably, just to give her a little bit more love. And this is not a bad option because she is support a lot of times as much as she is DPS. Kind of like a like a Libora. Uh, as a matter of fact, you can do this for her. She's a little more versatile, right? And and even this, I would even do that. There you guys go. Those are probably her best setup. There really isn't the situational unless you unless you plan to build her um, more like a, a support. So you can put that on her there. Uh, you can put this technically. She doesn't have any healing, but you can still technically give her that damage increase. It's up to you on that. Uh, but realistically these are the best sets i mean if we're going to be a little bit more tactical about it i'd probably say situational actually no, this is probably gone completely for her for her um yeah let's just say situational 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 there we go i think that's a little bit more accurate okay so there you go uh joe's we already did and then park park is the last the other park the the, the defense pact one there we go uh curse blessing Absolutely can run in both ways. Uh, this will be a little more situational. This can be gone uh, because it doesn't scale off HP. Uh, let's see. He does Warmonger for sure. You can technically use this, but it's decent just for the defense pen aspect of it, not for the attack portion of it. These two are fine. This is gone for him because, again, he's not scaling off of attack. This is gone for him as well, too. Uh, these two are probably going to be his best options. And then the rest works fine. Again, this is only there specifically for the defense pen, okay? So there's all your DPS guys, right? I wanted to do it by DPS and then by breakers. So let's go to breakers next. Breakers are going to be, um, we'll go decent here. 
situational there. Uh, breakers are simple. They're going to have Breaker. This is fine as well. Warmonger. And then they're going to have the Greed set. Okay, Greed set, Warmonger, Breaker set. Uh, decent, decent, decent. Uh, situational, really, for defense pan purposes. Yes, yes, and yes. Okay, so there you guys go. That's going to be the setup for the first one. Um, some of them will actually use Solid Foundation, not him specifically. So Beck, this is Beck's probably best setup here. Again, situational, okay? For defense pen purposes only. Only for that. That's it. All right, let's move on to the next breaker here. We have Emma. Emma, Emma, Emma right here. Okay, let me just, sorry, let me organize this. Emma, same scenario here for Emma. The only difference is you take Warmonger out because she doesn't really use Warmonger here. Actually, you know what we'll do, guys? Let me, let me go back. Let me just make this easier. We'll take Emma back out. I'm going to do all the defense back first. So same thing with him. Exact same setup here with him. Um, the biggest difference with him is you can actually put the Guardian set because he's constantly got a shield up practically. So you guys can do this. But Warmonger for sure. Breaker set next, etc. right there. That's a good setup. And then that pretty much covers it. You guys can also do Solid Foundation for more core damage. So this is a very good option for him too. Okay, so uh, Curse works really well as well if you do four piece. Technically, Gunhee has probably the most versatile setup out of any of these guys. So there's your other defensive breaker. Uh, let's say Wu is also similar to this. Exactly the same, actually, now that he has a shield. Core damage, not as much. It's just decent for him. So you guys can put that there. Uh, everything else looks pretty good. Um, who else specs off defense? Uh, let's see. Kim, same scenario. All right, so we're going to do Kim's right there. Hong Sook, same scenario. This Kim, same scenario. And I think Jinho specs off of HP, though. So he'll be a little different. Okay, so there you guys go. These three breakers, all the same thing. Okay, everything works exactly the same for these guys. All right, so the only difference here I would put is um, Hung Sook is probably the only one that could really benefit off of the one hit kill or the destroyer set because of the fact that he can sometimes cast his ultimate twice. So these two would work really well for him and I would take away the guardian set for him here, right? For Kim and that, I would say guardian set gone. Because I don't, I don't think either of them have a shield, I recall. Uh, so this is probably the best setup for those guys, okay? Now, let's go back to the HP HP, percent, HP guys and, and talk about them a little bit more. So Emma and Sa are going to work as breakers. Uh, Anna is attack breaker. Uh, Nam, we'll put, and Jinho, okay? These guys are all going to be in the same boat. So Greed, Curse, we're going to be just decent for these guys. We have um, decent for this decent for this all right the setup here is most likely going to be that right there uh, these don't apply to them because they're hp based but they're also going to be using except for nam nam's the only one that doesn't need this the guardian set everybody else here can give themselves a shield so the guardian set actually works really really well for these guys so this is going to be the setup going forward for all of them here um technically decent as well too for the defense pen purposes but everything else here pretty much works exactly like this okay so there's all of those guys the hp set ones now we have one more set of breakers here i uh, remember and nam doesn't apply for that one okay nam does not do guardian she's the only one that doesn't use guardian so keep that in mind and then the last two breakers here are going to be attack breakers anna ruiz and lim who are both attack again greed uh you can as a matter of fact use them use curse for them it would work if you want to build them dps spec um sorry warmonger was actually not useful at all for uh nam and those guys okay so i apologize so nam uh emma and sa and jinho do not use warmonger whatsoever okay you would remove that but for these guys here it's actually not a bad option for dps purposes so one two three four uh this can be gone completely not useful you can actually put this in now at this point for these guys for more dps if that's what you want to build and then this will go here as a decent i would say um this would be, work really well for limb and then the rest would be okay yeah it would be decent Okay, and then it gets situ situational, 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 all right? So very situational there. And I think that pretty much covers all the two DPS breakers. So that takes care of the breakers, guys. Just remember, Warmonger is useless for Emma, Sa, and Jinho, and Nam because it does defense and attack. They don't use that at all or scale on it at all. So make sure you remove that from that list when you are looking at this, okay? Now let's talk about some supports now. So Meilin, Hansi Mei, Johi, and Min. All right, these guys are all going to be the same setup. They're all HP based, so we're going to take all of this stuff out because this is useless for them. Curse useless, greed useless, warmonger useless, breaker useless, 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 and you're gonna you're gonna actually see a whole different build for these guys. So decent, uh, very strong for all of them. 
you want to cast that as much as you can. As a matter of fact, you can do both right here. Sorry, I apologize. It should be like that. Useless, useless. Good, 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 uh, and blessing. Good. Okay, so these are all ones you want to go. Pretty much, support is the easiest way to build, right? We're going to go decent. We're going to go decent. Again, they're decent only because you don't always use these ones as much as often as the other ones, but this is pretty much the set you want to go with all of your... Um, all of your support except for one and I'm, I'm putting her in support she technically would be with park and dps as well too but i'm going to talk about libora next so this is probably going to be the best setup for all of your uh support units right here okay all of them scale off hp all of them really use the ap set here uh four p set four p set uh with these four p sets here most mostly this one here and this one okay so depending how you build it but these are all all decent so those are your supports right there and then the last unit really comes down to libora okay i'm going to take the rest of them out libora is a little more versatile so she is going to be very situational on how you want to build her uh so she can be warmonger set she can be uh curse set Where's the curse set? Where's 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 my curse set? Sorry guys, where did I put that? It's all over. It's all mumble jumble now. Uh, decent, decent, uh, great for her. Again, de uh, situational if you want to build her with that option. Um, situational, the best set for her. I would say decent there. This is gone. This is decent here. Uh, where the hell? There it is. My curse set. There it is. One, two. So again, depending how you want to build her, you can build her support and go with this. Uh, this is going to be decent for her there. I'll take this out as well. Um, again, decent, decent. And that pretty much squares her up. So she can play two different roles, right? Main DPS, support DPS. That's how you want to run her. So that pretty much takes care of, I believe, every unit in the game, guys. Uh, remember, just the main thing I wanted to go back in and stress again, when you look at the breakers, when they're HP based, take Warmonger out. Warmonger is useless for them. It's only good for the defensive spec units. I just forgot to remove it from that. So I just want to make that clear so nobody gets mistaken. All right, guys, it's Payne. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.